Yo people, it's the food governor. I'm here today, I've come to the godfather of all kebabs, milk turks. Okay. Oh. This is a McTurk's kebab. That does look nice and juicy, if I'll be totally honest. Look at the donut. Look at that. The meat's really, really juicy. It's really meaty. You can taste the meat well in there. Um, it's not the, how do I say it to you, like the, you got Birmingham, you see a lot of the donuts really white. It's all processed donut meat. Okay. This you can just tell by the colour. Look how it's cooked. Absolutely perfect, this donut kebab. That's why McTurks will always be McTurks. You just can't argue it with anybody. Here's the mint yogurt. It looks really, really nice. Here's the hot chili sauce. And you can see the seeds in there. Look at that. It's like the co-fresh um, hot chili sauce you get. Let's get on to the naan bread. Only the food governor does this. Don't go up all on there. It don't move, don't you throw It's a bit soft and it's a bit, it's not the fattest naan I've had. Quite thin if you look at it. It's more like a roti. Let's see how it goes with this. <sighs> Sorry, I do have to check the naan on its own first, I forgot. I have to always check the naan. Raw naan. <laughs> the grease of the donut goes well with the naan. <laughs> Look. Well, right, let's get it. Let's try it with the donut. And the naan's really nice. It's a bit awkward here. Like, it's a bit hard. I don't know why that was there. It's soft, but it was hard to rip off. If that makes sense. It's soft. It's really soft, but it's hard to rip off. I don't know why. I think they're using sourdough. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it in both. Let's give this a bite. Mmm. That mint yogurt there is absolutely brilliant. The whole kebab is absolutely nice anyway. Like if you look at the kebab, where do you often where do you often see a kebab like this anyway? The donut meat looking like that. You didn't see it in many places. And this is the best of them all, McTurks. They are the king of all kebabs. There's no denying that. On a good day, they are sometimes inconsistent. Especially on like a Saturday because it gets really busy for them. On Friday, Saturday, the weekend and that. But other than that. I just think. One thing I will say is the naan could have been better. Definitely. That's one thing they need to improve on if they want the kebab to be better. It's a bit too thin. If you look at that piece there, look, it's really, really thin. Look. See what I meant there? It's really hard some places, some places it's not, because I think they've used less dough. They're trying to make the naan big, 
with less ingredients. That's the only thing I can think of. And the naan wasn't that big anyway. Unless they're running out of flour. <laughs> yeah, a bit hard. Yeah. I don't rate the naan properly. The donut meat's a fire. A really, really nice donut meat. But this just might be one of the bad days they've had with the naan bread. But yeah, the donut's really nice. As always. Thought that was a hair. I mean, the sauce is lovely. The mint sauce has got like a the mint sauce has got like a home flavour to it. Um, my battery's low now, which is why the flash has gone off. I'm gonna have to wrap this up for an overall review um, for Mock Turks. I'm gonna give this a a solid nine point five. I think the nine let it down today. It was the naan that let it down, but it's 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 a lovely kebab anyway. But the naan was the main was the main letdown today. Yeah, it's not like it normally normally should be, but I think they didn't know that the food was coming today. But yeah, please like, share, comment on all my videos, share it with your family and friends. Stay tuned for the next video.